What's up guys, my name's Dak Ronick, your host here on this Destiny video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 5 hand cannons in Crucible. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that the information and the ordering of all these things has not actually been made by me. I've been asking the community, I've been doing straw polls, I've been asking a lot of professionals in the community, as well as going around and doing a whole lot of research, a lot of videos I've watched, and a lot of articles I've been through. So overall, I'd like to say this is a relatively definitive list on the different places that I have looked. Before I get started, I just want to thank you guys for helping me compile this list. I've asked a lot of people, a lot of you were very helpful, a lot of you guys came out of left field with some of these weapons, and a lot of you guys were very consistent of the things you liked, and I really do appreciate all of your help and time. And if you guys want to be part of the next uh, straw polls and help me out with more top fives in the future, make sure you follow to my Twitter down below, and I will message you guys on Twitter being like, hey, I got a new top five, I need your help, what do you think is the best? Anyways, without further ado, let's go into the top five hand cannons in Crucible. Coming in at number five in the top five hand cannons in Crucible is the Ice Luna. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be a little upset for the positioning on this one, but I wanted to try to vary it up and try to keep this one a little bit farther back because of the fact there's a lot of really good ones that nobody really knows about. For the most part, if you guys have never heard of this weapon, it is the Baby Hawk Moon. High clip size, really good stability, really good range, and high impact. It's those guns that you could just can't go wrong with. The only downside to this weapon is that it doesn't have the best aim assist, whereas a lot of other weapons really do have good aim assist, but this one really is good at range, really good at impact, and again, has that clip size that makes it so you can get two or three kills without even reloading. Coming in at number four in the top five BBP hand cannons in Crucible is the Hawk Moon. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be a little confused on the positioning on this one because if you don't know, the Ice Luna and the Hawk Moon are relatively the same gun. The Hawk Moon being the exotic version, having a little bit better stats, and of course, being an exotic, meaning you can't actually have. Uh, another exotic in your inventory. You can interchange these two weapons, Hawk Moon and Ice Luna, if you want in the countdown, but for the most part, the Hawk Moon has better stats and comes with those rolls that you want on the Ice Luna, so that there's not a lot of point of having the Ice Luna when you have the Hawk Moon unless you want to use another exotic weapon. One of the biggest advantages the Ice Luna has over the Hawk Moon is the fact that you can get different rolls, a lot of crazy different rolls, and it has a lot of more variation in it, but for the most part, the rolls you do want on it are pretty much just the Hawk Moon. And lastly, I'd like to say the Hawk Moon looks absolutely baller. Coming in at number three in the top five PvP hand cannons in Crucible is actually going to be a bit of a surprise for you. Not a lot of people have been talking about this weapon, nor even using this weapon, but there have been a, quite a few YouTubers as well as Twitch streamers I have talked to have claimed this weapon to be very very good. Of course, this weapon that I am talking about is Finalis Peril. If you, get, you guys probably never heard of this weapon, it's a legendary hand cannon that just blew my mind. Finale's Peril has been well known for being reliable, has good stability, good handling, good recoil, and overall really good aim assist. If you guys haven't used a whole lot of hand cannons, this is one of the better hand cannons to use if you are new to the game, so the ease of use is pretty good. Overall, there's not really much more to say about this weapon. It just handles above average in almost every single stat, can kill in the time to kill from pretty much similar to other hand cannons, decent range, decent handling, and again, the aim assist is just very, very helpful. Coming in at number two in the top five PvP hand cannons in Crucible is the last word. Now, this used to be my number one choice for hand cannons way back in the day I think over a year ago when I first did this top five PvP series this was the number one that destroyed everyone in about 0.3 seconds I think was the time to kill in this weapon if you got two headshots with the bonus activated this has been nerfed several times as well as hand cannons in general so it has been placed lower on the list mostly because of the fact you can only really get one kill with each clip before you have to reload if you're team shotting people you can get two or three kills but this is one of those I'm gonna shoot all of my shots at once high fire rate full automatic mode and just a western shooter kind of deal again this is a great gun to use very easy to use for new people and I thought it was actually very easy and I'm very bad at the game a lot of things that it does uh, lose out on is the range because of the fact that it's fast fire rate the recoil kind of jumps it uh, in a lot of places and of course it makes it more difficult to fire at range but the more trained hand cannon users will still be able to, still be able to use it at range maybe get those four shot kills coming in at the number one slot in the top five pvp hand cannons in crucible is actually not going to be much of a surprise i was about to go into this will be a surprise for you but the fact is this is not a big surprise everybody's using this it's a very accessible gun and is a very good gun. Coming in at number one is the Palindrome. If you guys have never heard of this, this is one of those vendor guns you can get straight up from 
the Crucible Quartermaster, the little robot down there where Lord Shaxi is. I, I just called him Lord Shaxi because he's Shaxi Poo to me. You can actually buy this gun straight from this robot and actually go into the Crucible right away with it. The only problem being that the getting rolls for this thing is difficult, so uh, you have to actually just kind of roll with the roll that you got. If you guys have never heard of this weapon, it's one of those high impact, really good stability, good impact, good clip size hand cannons that's just very consistent, very useful, and has a decent aim assist to it. And again, is extremely accessible. I'm not saying that this is one of the main reasons for it being on this uh, section of the list, but again, it is very accessible. If you want to get this hand cannon, almost anybody can get it. And that's pretty much it. The top five PvP hand cannon crucible has been crowned as the palindrome. Now this may change in the future, so if you are seeing this maybe a month from now, maybe like a year from now, this may be different. In fact, I almost guarantee it will be different because this game is always updating, always changing. But for the most part, this is one of the best guns in the game. I would like to give some honorable mentions to guns like Lord High Fixer and Appellant 3 from the new Monarchy hand cannons. And of course, Appellant 3 being the high fire rate hand cannon. Both of these guns are fantastic. If you get either one of these, I would recommend it. There are other guns that I haven't mentioned here who are similar archetypes to the guns I have already mentioned that you guys could use. A lot of like Her Fury, uh, Mago Loop. A lot of these guns are very, very good. They did not actually make the cut. I try to have as much variant as possible. But for the most part, this is the best guns in the Crucible. If you have any other suggestions of guns you think would be better, leave a comment down below saying, hey, I think this gun's pretty good. You guys should check it out. And of course, go down to the comments down below and check out what everybody's talking about. Maybe there's some new change or new thing that somebody's figured out between when I made this video and when you're watching. And finally, if you guys would like to see more top fives in the future, I'd love to do more top fives. If you'd like to see some top five shotgun, top five heavies, maybe top five more bruh, general categories like top five secondaries, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to do more of this stuff. And of course, I've been your host, Iconic. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.